the list price to sold price is 93%. Now we were as high as 101% for a little while, right? A couple months, but now it's 93.1% or something like that is where it is. So a 7% drop. And I just, I've been watching houses like this, AJ. I talked about this a couple of weeks ago on the show. House on the market for 640. It was on the market over 100 days. It went from 640, a slow, painful drop down to 579. At 579, it goes under contract. What do you think it closed for? 517. It started at 640. It closed at 517. Um, I just saw a couple of those examples looking for my buyers uh, recently where we're seeing these huge, from the list price to the actual sold price, big gap between the two. I, I could believe I did a file in uh, Homeland this week, which if you know that's equestrian west of 441 there, five acre lots, there's nice houses out there. Well, the list prices, they're, they're way over recent sales prices. So they're seeking the higher price, but there was only one competitive sale to my home in the last three months. Guess what the list of sale price was on that? Uh, 67%. Wow. wow. Damn. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> so so I'm looking at that going, okay, well, yeah, these list prices are all high, but what are the odds they are really going to get these numbers? And maybe they will, and maybe there's reasons that those people are, are asking what they are. But if you look at history, I mean, some of these homes even sold within the last year for 30% less than what they're active for right now with no changes. Yeah, it's crazy. Um, the Palm Beach Post had a uh, front page article about the January market, I think on Monday of this week or Tuesday. And uh, one of the realtors in there was talking about how they had a listing and they put it at 1.5 and then they dropped it to 1.2 and it closed at 945. So 30, 30% yeah. less yeah. than what they started out at. And that's the problem with using these averages and mediums is that mm -hmm. there, there's statistical flyers all over the place, but overall it's all pretty much just stable. And that's what I'm finding on a lot of my sub markets right now.